and gentlemen, welcome back. It is of course SugiJRPG here and today we're going to be learning how to install HD texture packs under your PSP emulator. And the one we're going to be using here today is known as PPSSPP, which is de facto PSP emulator that everybody's using these days as the other ones are no longer being supported by their developers. And this is available on multitude of different devices, including the RetroArt emulator, which you basically can install this on. It is also available on iOS, Mac OS, Linux, also on Windows, which this guide will be based on, and also, of course, Android, which I have documentation on in my article, which you can find in the description down below. You can also install this emulator under these retro uh, consoles. So in case you're looking into playing a lot of your nostalgic childhood games from Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, or PSP, and other retro games, you can install a lot of those uh, emulators under these devices. And these are not really even that expensive. So in case you want a bit more better controller schemes, as it's not always ideal to play these emulators on PC or on your phone, this might be also a nice option and they also have a lot of sales going on as of right now and you can use the link down below to support the channel in the meanwhile but let's get started out with the actual guide here so the first thing we're going to be obviously doing here we're going to be having our PSSSPP launched and I'm going to be showing you how to install the textures under one of the games but first we actually have to go into the settings and do a couple of things so we're going to be going into game settings more settings then tools and then developer tools. And here we're going to be choosing texture replacement. And here we have to make sure that this is toggled on replace textures. The save new textures is optional thing. You don't need to put that on. Then in case there might be some loading issues with your textures, you can increase this from slow to something else. I haven't had that uh, problem so far. So I'm leaving it as the default slow. And then there's a couple of other things under um, the settings. So we're going to be going to graphics and here you can use the rendering resolution. So by default is one X, which is very low resolution as that is the default one that ha we had on the PSP. So I really recommend actually, if you're running this on PC or a bit more higher end handheld device, at least go 1080 for a better quality. And this will help with the actual textures that you're going to be uploading. So anything from 4x to 8x and even 10x if you want to go crazy. And then here on the settings, make sure that the upscale level is off. That is something you definitely want to use when you are not using texture packs. Otherwise, it can be on. But uh, it's not something that I've tried out myself. So those are basically the most important things you want to actually add before running with the texture pack. So usually the texture packs come in zip files. And some cases they can be just dragged in and installed automatically. And as you can see, it is installing the mod pack automatically. If it's not doing that, you have to actually go into the PSPP folder. And then we're going to be going to PSP textures and paste it here under the folder. So this, the folder name is very important. I will explain that in a second as this installation basically completes. So with every game, as you might have guessed, there's different types of regions and versions out of them, not just the region, but also the patches. So in case of the John the Ark, there's a version that can be opened up here, which is Ukus S98700 version one. And when you're going to be adding any type of mod, it has to match to that version of the game. This is very similar to my previous guide when we talked about the Switch emulator stuff. They have to actually meet and every game has a different one. It's usually Ulus or Ukus, depending on the region. And then we're going to be launching the game and it says texture replacement pack activated. And I probably should have said uh, or shown the version without the textures, but this is the HD texture pack version, which you can definitely see is in full effect as of right now here at its full glory. Um, a lot of the games, the popular ones tend to have actual texture packs. And, you know, some of them might be incomplete, some of them might be fully done, but there's a lot of different types of texture packs, which might be also specific to certain regions. And there are ways to basically alter out the texture paths, which make you like, hey, I want to run this texture uh, in the 
a Japanese version of the game. It can be done, but you have to actually like rename some file names, which I might write up on, on my article down below. But that basically is how easy it's basically uh, to do these texture installations. You just have to make sure that everything is on the right version and everything like that and everything will be basically running out smoothly thanks for watching guys if there's any questions go into the article down below in the description for more advice and more guides on the android version especially and obviously subscribe and like and check out my other emulator guides which i've done on the channel more to come in the future thanks for watching i will be seeing you in the next video